Hello friends, welcome to Math Opera, myself Salil Gargil. In this video, I am going to discuss a mistake that students do while performing prime factorization. This mistake is as small as not adding a zero, but that not adding a zero makes all the difference. Let's understand what this mistake is. So while performing prime factorization, there is a very common mistake that happens and this mistake is actually related to division. So let's understand what prime factorization is. In prime factorization, what you're trying to do is you're trying to write a particular number as a product of its prime factors. So if I take the number six, I've taken a smaller number as the first example. If I take the number six, six is divisible by two. So if I divide 6 by 2, I get 3, right? So 6 divided by 2 is 3, which means 2 multiplied by 3 is 6, right? That is the simple check. And now this 3 is again divisible by 3. So I get the answer as 1 and therefore 6 can be written as product of 2 and 3. So this is the simple process of prime factorization. Now let's take, say this particular example. 425 since the number ends with a 5 I know that 5 is its factor so let's divide 425 by 5 4 is not divisible by 5 it is rather less than 5 so what we do is we insert a 0 here right because 4 cannot be divided by 5 and since you have inserted this 0 you now have the liberty of taking the next digit along with 4 which happens to be a so the number that you are going to now think about is about is 42. So 42 divided by 5, we know that 5 eights are 40. That is the biggest number that you can uh, write as the quotient. So 5 eights are 40. Now there is a remainder of 2. 42 minus 40 is 2. And that 2 gets appended with 5 and it becomes 25. So 5 fives are 25. But since this particular 0 does not have a value because any zero returned towards the left side or after the decimal point does not actually have a value right the leading zeros or the trailing zeros do not actually have a value you can actually omit writing this particular zero and therefore 425 divided by 5 is 85 correct now how much is 812 and you can continue this further you can further divide this by 5 but right now what I'm trying to show you is the mistake that students perform. So now let's take 812. It is definitely divisible by 2. So we know that 2 4s are 8. Right. And now what the students do. So this is the source of the mistake. They don't see a 1. They see a 1 and they, they are right that 1 cannot be divided by 2 because 1 is less than 2. So what they tend to do here is. They tend to take 1 and 2 together, that is 12, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. Did you catch the mistake? What is the mistake that the students have done here? The mistake is, the moment they realize that 1 is not divisible by 2, they should have actually inserted a 0, which was happening here as well. So they should have actually inserted a 0 over here. After you insert this 0, now you can take the next digit along with 1 that is 12 and then 2 6 are 12. So this would have been the right way to do it. Just omitting this particular 0 makes the number look as 46 but actually it is 406. Now you have to be a bit intuitive over here. See if your answer is 46 then for, if you notice over here 3 2s are 6 right. 85 5s are 425. So when you multiply this number with 5, you got 425. 
Similarly, over here, if you multiply 46 with 2, you should check if you are getting 812. 46 twos are 92, definitely not 812. Another way to look at it is 800 divided by 2 is 400. So obviously 812 divided by 2 has to be a number greater than 400. So how can it be 46? It definitely cannot be 46. So that is the intuitive way of catching your mistake. So the right answer is 406. Yeah, and then you can prime factorize this even further. Let's take a look at this example. 6 is definitely not divisible by 7. Fine. So we add a 0 over here. But this 0 would have no value later on. So we, you can omit writing the leading 0. You can take the number as 63. 7 9s are 63. And then you have 7 remaining. 7 1s are 7. This is the right way of doing it. It is okay no, not to write this particular 0. It is perfectly fine because, because it has no significance. But omitting a 0 in between is absolutely not acceptable because this particular 0 has a place value which plays an important role. This 0 does not have, it has a place value but it has no significance because there are no digits preceding it, right? Again, 749 is divisible by 7, yes. So 7 ones are 7, we have the 7 here. Now is 4 divisible by 7? No, it is not. So we should write a 0 here and then you are allowed to take these two digits which is 49, 7 7s are 49 and the answer is 107. If you omit this particular 0, the answer would be 17 and 17 multiplied with 7 would be 119 and not 749. So this mistake is a very common mistake that students perform. When you, when you make this mistake, it really changes the whole meaning of your prime factors and then everything goes wrong beyond that. I hope that this particular segment showed you the mistake and it also explained why you cannot make this particular mistake. I hope this concept is clear now. So remember that when you perform prime factorization or division, you are allowed to take two digits or even three digits at the starting part in the starting part when you are finding the first number in your quotient without adding a zero in the quotient because later on it is not going to have any value. But once you start the pro procedure and if you want to take more than one digit at a time, you need to add a zero in between. Do remember this particular concept so that you can avoid any mistakes while prime factorization. So I do hope that you found this video useful and interesting. In the next video, I'll come up with some new idea, some new concept. Do like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel and stay connected for more updates. Goodbye. Thank you.